day. My name is Richard Newsom, and I wrote The Billionaire's Curse. Now, I've been asked who of all the adventurers in the world, real or made up, would I most like to have dinner with? I don't think you can go past one guy, and that's a guy called Bear Grylls. Bear Grylls is a former UK commando who appears in a TV show called Man vs. Wild. And Bear gets parachuted into the world's worst places. He gets thrown into rainforests, into deserts, into ice-covered tundra, into volcanic islands. If it's a bad place, you'll find Bear there. And Bear's the type of guy you really want to sit down and have a meal with so you can pick his brains ahead of time, just in case you're about to get caught in quicksand, just in case you're about to fall down a volcano tube. He'll be able to let you know how to get out. And I think Bear would be the perfect dinner companion before I set off on any of my adventures. As for adventures, what are the five things you should always take with you when you go out on an adventure? Easy. Number one, matches you're going to need fire. That is a very important thing to have. And of course, if you've got a fire, you really want to have something to cook on it, so a Swiss army knife. You never know when a mountain lion is going to attack. Do not leave home without one of these. Of course, you're going to need yourself a headlamp, and this is something that Gerald, Sam and Ruby are constantly using to, uh, to find their way around the dark and mysterious places that they get, uh, they get caught up in. And of course, if you're going to go out on any adventure, a good hefty pair of hiking boots, because there's going to be walking, there's going to be running. And with a lot of running, the last thing you obviously need is a pillow, because a tired adventurer is no good to anybody. A pillow should be the most important thing that you pack with you. Now, The Billionaire's Curse. The lead character is a guy called Gerald. He's 13. He's just inherited 20 billion pounds from a great aunt that he didn't know existed. Now, for Gerald, this is a conundrum. He doesn't know why he's inherited all this money. And for the first few seconds, great, he's incredibly wealthy. But then he finds out that his great aunt was murdered and the people who murdered her are now after him. So he's got to solve this, this mystery. And he's a different type of hero in that he hasn't got anything to prove. He's not trying to show that he's the, the biggest macho man in the world, but he does know that he has to solve this mystery, otherwise his life is on the line. I guess you could say he's just uh, fits that, that role of the 13-year-old billionaire hero really, really well. Now, in terms of who I would take from all of the characters in the book with me to solve a mystery, I think Ruby Valentine would be my number one choice. Ruby's 13, and unlike a lot of girls in these stories, she isn't a goody two-shoes, she isn't prim and proper, she has an edge to her, and she's always willing to have a bit of a crack at her brother Sam, and I think that's something that brothers and sisters can probably relate to, but Ruby is completely and utterly reliable, and is always on the front foot trying to help out, and I think that uh, of all the characters, she's probably the one I'd like to have with me to solve my mystery. Now, in terms of uh, what's coming up next for Gerald, Sam and Ruby, they have an incredible ride during the Billionaire's Curse, but that's just the first part of the story. It's a three-part series. In the second part, the three kids are off to India, and in India, they're going to be looking for another mysterious casket which contains an unknown treasure. And they get to come up against some nasty villains once again, and the mystery deepens and broadens and richens. And it uh, then culminates in the third part of the story, where they have off to Europe and uh, to a, uh, a mystery destination where the whole climax comes together and the mystery behind the whole story is resolved. So it's uh, a pretty exciting romp for the three kids and I think it's one that most people are going to really enjoy.